Today's little snippet is on a 2000 Mercedes E320. We are replacing the motor mounts and we're also replacing the transmission mount. These are the old ones. I've already done the work, but I just wanted to go through and uh, recap. As you can see, they're split and all the fluid is coming out, which basically means they're no use to man nor beast. Now, do remember when you're doing this that these little tabs have to locate in the bracket, so don't forget that. This is the transmission mount. Um, it's not too bad, it is a little split, and it certainly won't be long before it splits even further. As uh, is going to follow up, I did mention um, the best way to, on this particular vehicle, get the um, mount out on this side, the driver's side, is to remove this sway bar and lower the steering rack. Just to let you know, for the sway bar, you are looking at an E10 for these um, bolts here. They seem to like to use these star things. Um, and this is, hang on one second, I just let me, I think this is a 50. Yeah, this is a 50, which is for here. Okay, so you're going to need those, otherwise you ain't going to be able to do it, because you can't do it with a hex. It has to be the, uh, the, the correct star, and as I said, that's a 50, and uh, these sway bar links are an E10. Now let's move on to the next bit of this very exciting video. This video... Uh, it's not one I was going to do, but I, I just want to do it to uh, perhaps help some of you guys out there. This is a 2000 Mercedes E320, and I've just replaced the motor mounts and also the transmission mount. Um, it depends on the model, it would appear. The variomatics, uh, or the formatics, sorry, there. They're different the way you have to do it compared to this particular model, which isn't a formatic. In order to get the mounts out is always difficult. And there they are. One up there. One up there. This on the passenger side, as you can see, is very easy to get to. That, that one's not a problem at all. And this one is much more difficult. Um, what you have to do here is disconnect the coupling here on the steering rack, then undo these bolts, and lower the steering rack down. Not only do you have to do that, but you have to remove this beast, the sway bar. Really easy, it, it's not difficult to do. But that, I found, is the best method for getting that mount out through here. Once the rack is, is down a little lower, it's a lot easier. Now, don't forget, you have this electrical connection as well. It also has to come undone. Um, so it's undo the electrical connection, undo that bolt there, gently pry this thing apart. Don't forget, this has an airbag. So you start hammering and banging away, you're going to set the airbag off. That ain't going to be good. And then you undo these bolts. Now, this is a... Uh, 16 millimeter and the nut on the top is a 15 millimeter Mercedes come on you could have kept them the same so they had to come out and as you can see I've already removed the um, the sway bar here which is something I've got to put back the other thing I had to do was replace the transmission mount the transmission mount is really quite simple support your transmission up there then undo these two bolts here then just take the weight of the transmission on your jack undo those two bolts there pull out the mount in this particular case the mount wasn't too bad but as we did the motor mounts it was a good idea to replace all three at once for the sake of the you know expense you know, uh, in other videos they've talked about disconnecting the exhaust I did start to try that and those bolts were very tight 
and I must admit I thought they were probably going to shear. So that was when I looked at what else I could do and for me the best and easiest method I found was as I've said and you can be see as can be seen I removed the sway bar and I just lowered the steering rack. You don't have to disconnect any steering hoses or anything like that. It comes down far enough for you to actually do the job. All right, as I said, very short video. Hope it helps some of you guys. I've seen so many different videos out there. I don't know if it's that with different models it works differently. Um, some people, as I said, they talk about disconnecting uh, the exhaust manifold, uh, removing compressors. Uh, one guy said on his formatic he just had to bend a bracket out of the way. Uh, that didn't apply to this 320. So uh, just thought I would uh, let you know. And there they are, nice new mounts. The original ones were pumping out liquid. So that tells you they're gone. Now all I gotta do is reconnect that electrical connector, uh, put the sway bar back on, call the customer, and uh, relieve him of some money. <laughs> okay. Uh, hope that is of use to you guys. Uh, please like and subscribe to JagVet1. And uh, if you want to send me an email, I will put the email address up at the end of this video. But it is gstargarage at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Bye.